Hello folks, I'm Rai de Voost and in this video we are going to download, install and do a first run of AutoCAD 2022. So let's first download and let's check the possibilities from where we can download and then let's do a quick installation. Let's see what new additions or how installation can be carried out. And then of course uh, let's do a first run and let's pick one or two key features which I do like most. So step number one, let's download AutoCAD 2022. And obviously we can download it from different locations, for example from Autodesk main site. You can download it as a download free trial. You have to have an Autodesk account, you can create it freely and then you can download the free trial and use it uh, normally 30 days. But if you're a current subscriber, then you can find this download also from your manage.autodesk.com website. It's even easier to download it from here because from here you can also see your license keys if you're a current subscriber. And for example, if I go to all products and services, I can then select my product, for example, Autogad. And from here, I can see a link view downloads and also 2022 is currently in here. Or third option, if you are a student or educator, you can go and search the product from autodesk.com educational website. I'm going to download it and let's see what are the options. If I click view downloads, then I can see that yes, I do want to have 2022 Autogad for Windows. If you are a Mac user, then you can see that 2022 is already available for Mac as well. And then, because I'm a Windows user, I can select different download methods. For example, to see those, I can click view all and then I have install now, download now and browser download. And also such names are used when you download your software from a student portal or from Autodesk main site. So my general recommendation is that you use download now, then you are using a separate software, small software package and it's usually also faster. So I click download now. I ensure that download now is selected and then I click download now. Now my browser says that okay, do you want to download Autodesk Download Manager? It's not AutoCAD itself, it's Download Manager. So I click on it and once this is downloaded, it will be usually downloaded onto your desktop or the location you select. Then you can point to where you want to download your AutoCAD installation files. For example, I can pick any location, maybe if I don't have enough space in my key hard drive or main hard drive, I can use maybe different hard drive or portable drive. I can then uh, select location to where I want to download those files. Let's pick a location. And then once I do that, all my files will be downloaded. And after download, you start installation. So let's do now an installation because I have already downloaded my files and as you see it's about 3.7 gigabytes. So let's go and check if it is almost 4 gigabytes, yes? So I close my download manager because I have downloaded it before. So I select the same folder to where I downloaded my files and if I select subfolder then I can easily check properties and yes, it's about 4 gigabytes. So all my files are here and now I can just double click setup.exe. Step number two, let's install AutoCAD 2022. I go to the location in where I can find my files and then I can double click setup.exe. Actually, if you download your files, it will fire up this setup straight away. But it's up to you if you want to install it uh, straight away or maybe you want to do that uh, at later times. So anyway, my files are downloaded and now I double click this setup.exe. And what you will see is that uh, AutoCAD 2022 has a different installation dialog and it's a bit easier to install for a new user because you don't have to do loads of different, let's say, selections, but you just select location and then you can basically install the product. So let's wait while this preparing for installation is finished. Next step, let's agree with license terms. I agree, next. And then 
I can select to where I want to install my AutoCAD 2022. And uh, the common, or let's say most common location is C, Program Files and Autodesk. But if you want to, you can change it. I'm keeping it as it is, so I hit the next. You can also select AutoCAD Performance Reporting Tool and then you can install the product. As you see, very simple dialog and very few options what you can actually select. And now let's simply wait once this installation is finished. Icon is already on my desktop. That's good. Of course, I can find this icon also from my start menu. And here we are, key component or key software is installed and now additional component performance reporting. And if I do need a restart, then of course I do recommend uh, to restart a PC. So let's do a restart and then let's come back and see what's new in AutoCAD 2022. So we have downloaded, we have installed the product. Maybe we have done also restart and now let's fire up AutoCAD 2022 first time. An icon is available on my desktop. I do a double click and then my AutoCAD 2022 will be launched. Of course, I do need to activate my product or start my trial. So let's start a trial, meaning that I can use the product for 30 days. And I can actually activate my product at any time once I do have my license key. So let's click Start Trial. I close this offer and I also close this dialog which states that I do have 30 days left. I close it. Now this is my current desktop in terms of AutoCAD 2022. I can easily see that uh, I do have 30 days left. I can also use my Autodesk account to log in to use different features, extra features in AutoCAD. So I do need to have Autodesk account and to be able to create one, it's free to all. And then let's take a look how we can start a new drawing. For example, top row is showing me a ribbon, which includes most common tools. I can also click on this small A, and from here I can also find new and open to create a new drawing or open a new drawing. But as you see, I do have also those buttons available in here, new and open, and also at start tab, new and open. I can even click new and then to browse a template because all drawings are started from some template and template says, do I draw in millimeters or in meters or which kind of additional layers, text styles I may have. So obviously you have some default templates ready to be used. So if you click browse, you can see different AutoCAD templates. And if I cancel it, I can also use a default template. And this default template is usually assigned at options dialog. Options dialog can be fired up from A and options. And if I select template settings, I can see a default template for Ku new. This is currently empty, but I can assign which one is used instead of the default one, okay? I can also check which is my DWG file format, which is important when I want to share my files with other users. So if I click Save As and Save As Drawing, I can see that my AutoCAD DWG format is still 2018. So this has not been changed, but usually it is changed in three to five years. As you see, 2013, 2010, 2007, so currently I'm saving it in format 2018. Okay, and what are maybe two key features I want to point out in AutoCAD 2022? One quite useful option or ability is that uh, I can now track those tabs to different screens. As you see, if I use my left mouse button, I can track this down and use this tab in another screen. 
sometimes very useful feature, especially when you are working with two different files, then you want to see both files at the same time. And also it makes easier to copy things over. And if I want to place it back, I can simply move to this top bar and kind of uh, lock it onto its default place. And the second nice feature that we have in 2022 is to be able to count similar objects more easily. For example, if I open up a very simple drawing, I do have in here different design objects, but also simple lines and simple circles. If I select one circle, I might be able to count those all together if I do have only one type of circles. But um, if I use a new feature called count, which I can type in into this command line as well and hit enter, then it asks me which object I want to count. For example, I pick this circle, then I hit enter. And now I do have an extra user interface tab, which shows me that, okay, I do have 13 objects. I can also click those through one by one and it will zoom in to another location. Yes. I can also click on this eye icon and perhaps I can filter out that they have to match, for example, layer. Do I see a difference? No. Very good. Match scale, if those are different and also match mirror state. So I do have additional options in here as well. And in addition, you can include this kind of field into your dynamic table, which helps to update once you add or remove similar objects from your drawing. So you have here an option insert count field. I can click on it and then I can include this field to some of my tables. Let's put it just uh, in some location right now. But let's do a quick update. For example, if I copy this circle, which is counted to another location using copy command. And then if I refresh my drawing using command regen, hit enter, I can see that now my count number is also changed. So in that way, you can do very basic counting very easily also in AutoCAD 2022. Now, this was AutoCAD 2022. We have more unboxing videos coming up. Let's continue next time. See you then. Bye bye. If you got excited to see my next episode, please do subscribe to my channel and you get notifications once I upload a new video. Bye bye.